So this isn't entirely the attire that goes with that, but since it is in black and white, um, I figured I was going to go with the color theme. Just bear with me, okay? <laughs> The Unseen In Between is the newest album released by Steve Gunn. So, when I was looking up the discography for this artist, I've come to find he's been around for a very long time. So, this is something very new for me, so I'm going to try to give it the best review that I can um, for this album. I don't have really anything to draw off of from his past experience or his past works. I can only talk about what I listened to this time around. Thankfully, uh, I enjoyed this album, so I'm going to talk about a lot of the highlights and some of the things that were a little, you know, different for me. But yeah, let's let's delve into it. So this is kind of a singer songwriter kind of album, but you don't really get that vibe lyrically. And what I mean by that is what today's potential standard could be for that, maybe in a more mainstream setting. Uh, you wouldn't think of anything that he's singing about or the way that the songs kind of progress, although that is really what this kind of is. And something that I'll admit uh, when listening to this album on multiple occasions, I don't really have a lot of personal passion or attachment to this music project. But Listening to it very thoroughly, I can honestly say that I respect it very much. The ambiance of each song and the guitar that is helmed in this. You can't take jabs at it. The musical work just goes on and it knows that it's going to just keep moving forward without any particular one stopping it just because of a point of view. Also, on a lyrical basis, I do have to talk about this as well. He has carefully chosen words in his lyrics for all of his songs that create a more authentically tangible and liveable, livable experience when listening to it. Some of you who may look up his lyrics may have no clue what some of those words mean. And I can understand that being kind of a turnoff for some people, but I don't think this album is meant for uh, very mainstream audiences. I do think he expects others to come to the respect that I have come to if they're actually going to give it an honest chance when they listen to it. So if you're already kind of in a weird spot the way I'm explaining this album to you, let me give you uh, two songs that I can highlight that I think you might kind of get an idea of how you might be able to ease into the album. The first song being Vagabond. There is a big plus for the guitar in this song in particular. Almost like a Fleetwood Mac kind of vibe to it. Yeah, m flirting with that 60s hippie kind of vibe. And another one would be New Familiar. It's a um, you know, more simplistic kind of tune with still very strong guitar with kind of a wind in the air kind of effect. Now this album is only nine tracks long, so hopefully for those of you who are not completely sold on the idea that you want to give this album a listen, know that it's not very long in that regard. You can listen to a couple of tracks here and there and just listen to something new because this this is something that I thought I was going to just pass by. But something stood out and I'm glad that I did give it a chance and then I thought, okay, yeah, I think I want to review this. So, you know, I listened to it again to get those multiple listens in and yeah, the respect for it comes with it, and maybe you'll get some ideas out of this. Any of you who are songwriters, yeah, give this a listen to. Maybe it's going to spark something. 
So after having listened and reviewed this album, with production of 94%, creativity, 92%, expression and lyrics, 92%, I'm going to give this album a yeah. Now the next big question would be, for me personally, is to see what I can listen to in his discography way before this. Because he's done a lot that I could uh, find online. So... Yeah, uh, something to look into. Um, but for those of you who just aren't familiar with him in general, give this one a listen to first because it's worth your time. I, I do wholeheartedly believe that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to subscribe and follow all the social media for this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time.